द कॉमन फोर्सेस इन मैकेनिक्स ओके वाट आर द कामन फोर्सेस आर देर इन द मेकानिक्स लेट एस सी हाउ मेनी फोर्सेस आर देर ओके यू नो वेरी वेल अबउट द देर आर मेनी फोर्स विल बी एक्सिस्ट फस्ट यू नो अबउट द फस्ट आलरे ई सैड इन द प्रीवियस् क्लास दट इस ग्राविटेशनल फोर्स देन एलेक्ट्रो स्टाटिस्टिक्स फोर्स देन मैग्नेटिक् फोर्स देन स्टाटिस्टिक फोर्स दैन डयनमि फोर्स कैनमेटिक फोर्स देर आर् डिफ्रेंट डिफ्रेंट फोर्स आर् एक्सिस्टिंग ओके वे यू कम टू इन अवर् सिलेबस लेट एस टेक् बेस्ट एक्सापल ना ऐ आम टेकिंग ए ग्लास नौ द ग्लास इज एम टी ओनली नौ ऐ हव टेकन वन राड now i am steering this rod okay i consider one glass in this glass nothing is there simply i am steering what i can i can steer very fast inside only in this air is there what is that air only is there this is rod glass rod simply i am steering inside then what i can i can steer in this glass very fast okay same thing now i am considering another glass this is another glass in that now i am taking water in this water okay again i am keeping another rod inside rod okay now i am steering there they here also i am steering there also i am steering okay in which cases you can steer very fast in either this case or that case can you guess which case okay definitely you can say answer is here you can steer very fast why because in this uh, glass what is the glass uh, filled with air here the glass is filled with water so we are having this uh, states solid liquid and gas okay the gas uh, what is the gas means the particle distance will be very long so the in the water the particle distance will be little bit compared to air very near will be there so here in the um, air where is the air present in this uh, glass rod will be there air rod will move very fast why because air friction will be uh, air air is there due to that we are able to um, steer fast here what is there water is there the water density will be more compared to the air then the rod we won't move very fast what why this is happening okay why what uh, the rod why not moving in the fast in the rod which one is uh, stopping same glass is there here also same glass is there but here is there water is there so medium is changing when the medium is changing means something in acting on that uh, if you are applying force against against your force something is acting that we are calling the frictional force in especially in this phenomena we can study about the frictional force let us take like this also one springing hanging suppose high weighted some weighted if i pull if i lift what happen it will makes the oscillation why it is makes the oscillation you know very well about that gravitational force okay now let's see the in especially we can study in this lesson friction <laughs> okay next what is the friction very very important this point this one under the common under common forces in mechanics under this topic what we are going to study the first one is friction what is the first letter here either you can denote capital or you can denote small r according to situation you can use whichever letter you want you can use the letter and you can derive okay next first we will see the friction okay in the previous uh, uh, two cases situations okay one time is air is there another time is water is there okay in which situations you are able to steer the rod fast in the first situations you are able to steer the rod fast in the second situation you are unable to steer the rod fast why because the water density will be more the air density will less 
So, something opposing, when you are uh, steering the rod inside the water, something opposite, some, you are able to steer slowly. Why? Why you are able to steer slowly in the second container? Means something opposite, something is making slow to you. That we are calling here friction. So, in one sentence we can say um, what is the friction means, which oppose the force. Then we can say that is the friction. which oppose the force okay which force is opposite working to the force then we can say that is the friction okay then what happened so when you are applying force also after some time it is stopping why it is stopping means due to the friction let us take best example let us take the ball okay the child is playing with the ball okay when is when he was uh, when he is playing so suddenly the fall fell into the ground what happened the uh, the ball will be at one uh, one place only or it is moving from one place to another place definitely the ball will be move one place to another place why because the ball is uh, slip from his hands what happened definitely that has some velocity that also has some mass to that what happened it will go some distance after some time the ball is stopping so the ball is moving on the floor only but why it is stopping so or else in, uh, not uh, in this case you can uh, an observe another case also where so let us take uh, cricket you where well, nowadays um, the cricket is very familiar so when the um, cricket players are playing the ball what happened the uh, batman hit the ball what happened the ball will move okay as soon as the ball is touching okay and the ball is uh, started uh, coming in the air after as soon as touch the ground actually it stop it could stop there only okay why it is not stopping there after uh, it is moving some distance why because the force the uh, the batman's uh, inserted force into that uh, ball due to that uh, the how much force inserted inserted in that ball uh, how long it will be there after some time once the force is and then the ball will be stopped okay not only in this case so if you take the football okay just if you kick it then what happen it will move uh, it will move on the floor or it will move on the ground after some time definitely it is coming to the rest position what is there behind that next when you are playing carom board, what happen? You know, take the striker and hit the kind. Then what happen? It will move some um, some distance. Again, it is coming to the rest position. Okay, all there are many cases will be exist. So why those things are come to the rest position means that we are calling the friction. What is the friction in one word? Which oppose the force. Okay, now I applied force. The ball went certain distance then after some time it is coming to rest position why means so some opposite forcing acting to my force that force we are calling the frictional force frictional force frictional force is very very important okay in our syllabus there are uh, only frictional force uh, only one is there uh, there are there may be other also may be there okay let us take here two blacks are there let us take one black is there like this this black has mass okay the black on the on this black I am thinking the gravitational force mg is equal to 0 there is no gravitational force acting on this or else we can say that is we, we are not considering the gravitational force we are not considering here okay then the body will be extra rest position this, uh, this is in uh, horizontal plane horizontal plane object is there object is there okay now I am applying some force from left side from which side I am applying from left side I am applying left side okay left side i am applying some force suppose if i apply very little bit force uh, suppose this is around uh, 40 kg will be there okay if i apply little bit force this will move it won't move next i am uh, increasing the force then first i am applying 10 newtons next i am applying 20 newtons next 30 newtons next like that okay and at a certain certain force the object will move from one place to another place okay when you are applying small force why it is not moving means this has more mass okay this uh, black or this object this particle is touches with the ground so so this and this surface uh, in between some force will be exist so this it, it is working opposite to that then we can say this is the 
frictional forces okay let us take this is a force you are applying from left side then right side it is moving okay right side is moving but opposite one force is acting that we can say here frictional force are then here we can say that is statistical force then afterwards kin uh, kinetic force uh, kinetic uh, friction also exists next one rolling friction also exist so what is the friction means which oppose the force then we can say that is the friction okay then in our syllabus the friction is there are different different uh, types of frictions will be exist in our syllabus there are the three types of frictions um, are there okay we will discuss one by one what is the first one means uh, statistics friction next one is kinetics friction statistics friction only statistic friction only we are calling the limiting friction next one dynamic friction is there dynamic friction only we are calling the kinematic friction next last one very very important to uh, for our um, ip exam syllabus that is the rolling friction okay now we are going to see one by one what is the statistic friction what is the kinematic friction what is the rolling friction